You're watching UNICEF television. Overcrowded markets gives a clear illustration of in rural areas such as Benwe states, but remote villages, under resourced population councils, and poor data man brings to the fore the challenges of documenting Nigeria's growing number of children. In the rural areas, uh, the level of uh, registration is low because of lack of understanding, the level of illiteracy, awareness, lack of awareness, and uh, the terrain, because you need to get a bike to go to an interior area to, to enlighten them, and it involves moving runs. As a result, children in rural areas are less likely to be registered than urban children certificate. And UNICEF estimates that Nigeria any other country without this sim So to account for this rapidly growing pop through the support of UNICEF and partners, has its data entry and management monitoring system for SMS. This is how it works. At the Yaikyo local government, Emmanuel's details are filled into a white form. El receives her son's yellow birth certificate. El Onmoya is getting her son Emmanuel registered. It's important for my son to have his birth certificate in order for him to identify with his country or nation, nationality in Nigeria. Twice a month, Tindata, along with all the other children, he's registered to... I mean, I put in my own special code and put the SMS and send the data. ...in a public dashboard, which is monitored by Sam... Yeah, 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 yeah. So it is easy now to monitor them in my office than before. And that has increased the registration in the states. Once a month, the white forms are collected from each registered data collection center, where the information is, is transformed into electronic data in the process and not without challenges. People are able to identify bottlenecks and discrepancies early on. Now that the rest of very detailed localized data, NPOPC can actually make much more specific intervention addressing specific problem area. Of birth registration in Nigeria, we're probably right of having a birth certificate. This is Suzanne Beckers reporting for UNICEF. Information go to unicef.org.